Andy's career, you know, just sailed, and he did Carnegie Hall, which was another great triumph in his life. He sold out Carnegie Hall, and he gave out cookies and milk, and Robin Williams helped that. Robin Williams played his grandmother in, in Carnegie Hall. It was an amazing thing, because because when he went in Carnegie Hall, this was like the first year of Taxi, and, and he and he said, "I'd like my grandma to have a good seat. Grandma, come on stage." So the grandma came on stage, totally, completely, Robin Williams in, in, in great makeup. And he goes, you, I got your favorite chair, grandma, so sit in the corner of the stage and you can watch the show. So Robin Williams was sitting there with the makeup. The whole audience thought it was Andy's grandma. And it was, he, Robin was so great because that's a great favor. You, you sat there for two and a half hours, sometimes dozing off like an old grandma would do, you know? And at the end of the show, he said that, and you know, he had Tony Clifton, and he introduced the, all the people, the, the Rockettes and uh, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, all the people that were in the show. And then he said, and, and my grandma was played by Robin Williams, and the audience just gasped, you know, because he took his, the wig off and everything. And then Robin helped give out cookies and milk at the New York School of Printing afterwards that and, Andy rented. And, uh, and his, Andy's mother and father were there, and I was there giving out uh, the cookies with the, w Wally Amos, who, of course, was famous Amos Cookies. Mm -hmm. So Wallace, Wally gave out the cookies. And then at 3 in the morning, he continued the show at the New York School of Print. He was wrestling women. There were mimes. There were rock acts. And then at 3 o'clock in the morning, he said, we're continuing tomorrow at 1 o'clock at the Staten Island Ferry. You're all invited. So it was about 200 people showed up. He bought them ice cream. He had another wrestling match. And they went back to his house, and they said, well, next time we're going on a worldwide tour. And he ended up Carnegie Hall in, in that manner. Who does that? Mm -hmm. So that's why it was exciting to, to be his manager, despite the fact that we had differences, and I gave him advice. Sometimes he took, sometimes he didn't.